welcome to Luna Lodge of Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is a who is this reading, reading, who is this reading for reading, because uh, there's, um, I don't know, it's a random reading, Spirit wanted me to do it, so I don't know who this is for, what this reading is about, but we're about to find out. So, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. Um, I feel like this is almost like an emergency reading, like... I had to stop what I was doing to do this reading. So, I don't know what, who this is for, what this is about, or what the hell's going on. We're about to find out, though. But again, these are generals to so take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. Everything's subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. This will be for December 13, 2021 and beyond. So, I really want to know who this reading is for. If this resonates for you, please let me know by dropping a sunflower or a flower in the comment section below of this reading to let me know if this resonated for you or not, okay? Because I don't know, Spirit said, emergency reading now. Okay, for the collective. So I'm assuming this can be like work, love, life, okay? Let's see. Spirit, why are we doing this reading? What is this about? Okay, not these cards. Let's try again, all right. Let me get a good, let me get a good shuffle. It's like somebody, and I don't know who, was calling for this reading from Spirit. Okay. What's going on with this, Spirit? What do you, why are we doing this reading? What's going on? Time. Tick, tick, tick. Dead end. Okay. Alright. This is emergency reading for a reason. Dearest wishes come true. Alright. Bottom of the deck, we got tough it out in reverse. So time is up. This is over. This is done. This is ended. This isn't your wish come true. There's no more, no more reason why you should tough it out in a situation where there's work, love, life. There's just no reason why you should keep toughing something out. Time's up. Time's up is what I just heard. This isn't your wish fulfillment. You know that it's not. Why are you doing it? Tick, 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 tick tock. It's time to get off. There's might be something going on with TikTok as well. Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. You think it's not a big deal, but actually it's a very big deal. It's a very big deal, okay? Win-win. There's no win-win here. Do not wait any longer. You can't persevere in this. If you try, it would be foolish. It would be foolish. There's no... You're not going to get what you want from this. It's done. Why are you waiting around, as I'm hearing? Why are you dealing with this? Why are you waiting? Time's up. Time's been up of this situation. Now, also, I'm hearing somebody, some of you had, separate message here, some of you had plenty of time to make something, to end something that wasn't good for you, whether that was a third party situation ship. Okay, you had time to end it, but you chose not to. Not only would that person lose the third party, but they'll also lose the main person because that main person is not going to tough it out anymore. They don't want to hear shit. This main person doesn't want to hear a damn thing. It's done. Some of you have plenty of time to come correct. And you chose not to. It's done. So, And the first message is to apply. Yeah, if, if you were to try to persevere this, it is a very big deal. And you'd be foolish. Okay, also I'm hearing you'd be foolish to stay with someone who's cheating on you. Uh, more Now, if... That's up to you. Obviously, I'm not here to judge you if you decide to stay with somebody who's cheated on you. Um, nevertheless, if they've done it more than once, twice, three times, four times, more than that, you really got to ask yourself, do you have respect for yourself at this point, right? If they continue to do it and don't learn the lesson, don't stop, then you're allowing it. It means you're allowing yourself to be mistreated, Okay. Let's see. Let me take these back and get some other messages. All right. What else did you want to say, Spirit? I'm here. Some of you know better. Yeah, separation. It's time to separate. There's no win-win here. It's time to separate. You can't win with this person. Yeah, pack your bags, but you don't want to leave. You think that you can win this person over. Yeah, by offering them an engagement or this commitment. But there's a storm coming. There's a storm brewing here. You can't win. Mm -mm. Yep. Invitation. Um, chances are in reverse. 
You're not going to be invited to something. You're not going to get the communication from this person. Encounter. Yeah, you've encountered a, a situation that you don't know how to navigate. This person, you can't. This separation is going to cause a storm in your life. Okay, but you can't control another person. If this person wants to leave you because they feel like you've done something to them, then, then they want to leave. Somebody here wants to have an encounter with somebody at a distance here, but they're not. They're not heading towards that person because they are they are married, but also um, someone wasn't is not getting invited anymore. Someone is not wanting to see somebody anymore, a third party, and their person has found out about this third party and they're just leaving silently. They're not going to say anything. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Someone's saying, okay, someone is saying to a third party, it's not it's not a big deal that I'm married. I do this all the time. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Please stand by. This person who's separating from you waited for you. They they waited for you to show up. And they feel foolish for waiting for you. They're taking back their power. And they got plenty of time to do so. They've, they've waited for this. They've given you plenty of opportunity. I feel like this is the person. This person who's leaving... Has given this other person plenty of opportunity to come clean. Plenty of opportunity to speak the truth. Plenty of opportunity to change their ways. Plenty of opportunity and chances and second chances to show themselves. To show something different. To show that they are willing to change. That they are capable of changing. And this other person has chosen not to do that. To continue their bad behavior. Their patterns of bad behavior. To purposely try to hurt somebody else. Because they're, they're mad. I feel like this could be a Taurus. Okay, that is um, that is choosing to do this, just choosing to either leave, or yeah, choosing to leave, invest elsewhere. But they're okay. Some there's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here who's leaving one relationship to try to go invest in another, but that person that they're trying to invest in doesn't want them. Yeah, they're just focusing on themselves. Show me this Queen of Pentacles, please. Queen of Cups here. There's two women involved, someone from the past here. This um, Someone is walking away from the past. Someone feels hurt. There could be a same-sex relationship here, or this could be friends. There is a there is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who was walking away, who is now reaping what they've sown about their investments here. They broke their own heart by walking away from a Queen of Cups friend, family member, or lover. They try to walk away from somebody who is like a sibling to them or who is a sibling to them. And they're breaking their own heart because they made the wrong investment. And they're realizing that now. To, now they're at a crossroads. Or there is a Queen of Cups who will be at a crossroads making a decision about a, um, a Queen of Pentacles here very soon. Male or female doesn't matter, but it could be same sex relationship or it could be family. I got family card here. These people are family or like family. What else? So they're trying to see it from a different perspective here. I feel like this Taurus energy or Virgo Capricorn energy is not because they don't see it as a wish fulfillment. They see it as an overindulgence here. Somebody, somebody's now realizing that somebody, a Queen of Cups, was right. Cancer Pisces Scorpio was right about this. But this Taurus Virgo Capricorn didn't want to listen. High Priestess Reverse. So they didn't want to listen to their intuition either. Or the um, secrets are about to be revealed. Someone's making a decision to reveal some type of secret. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. <sighs> Someone overindulged and their intuition told them not to. But they did anyways. Now they're reaping what they've sown. And they're not enjoying it. Let's see. What else, please? What else, please? There is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or a Cancer Scorpio Pisces who's reaping what they've sown, but they don't like it. And they don't like the fact that the other one was right. I feel like it was a Cancer Scorpio Pisces who was right. Confidence is your key to success here, New Moon and Leo. The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah, someone here is leaving. A time to give rather than take. Somebody here is learning about equal give and take and about their selfishness. Someone here is getting a hard lesson right now about their selfishness. Somebody is doing to them what they did to somebody else, ghosting them. Prosperity lies ahead. 
what do you need to release? Someone's releasing a Taurus for good. Or a Leo or a Virgo for good. We also got step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Yep. Someone is making a, uh, is, is leaving a Taurus behind. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or Leo or Virgo. Let's see what else. What are the messages, please? Attuned to the divine new moon in Pisces here. First quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. Somebody here is honoring their feelings. Could be a Pisces. And they're attuned to the divine. And they're walking away from this bullshit. Full moon in Cancer. Let your fears dissolve. They're not scared anymore by walking away. They're not afraid anymore. They're taking their power back. This water sign is taking their power back. From this earth sign. We also got... First quarter moon in Capricorn, unleash your kindest self. They're being kind. They're not being cruel. Full moon in Scorpio, breathe through the tension. But they are facing tension here. There's a major water sign here. Major water sign. They're breathing through it. They're pushing through this water sign is. They're not dealing with this no more. Full moon in Pisces, they forgive this person, but they're not taking them back. Last quarter moon in uh, Aquarius, reflect on your priorities. They're changing their priorities, what's most important to them. We got full moon in Taurus that they're detoxifying their life. We got full moon in Leo, and they're then they're going wild. They're going ham on their dreams, their goals, their admirate uh, aspirations here. Let's see, what does this person need to surrender? Who is? Let's see, any one of them. Let's see, the person who is walking away. What this the one who's walking away? What do they need to surrender? Surrender to your path, your soul's path, your life, your, your life's journey can be, has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson in every moment. Okay. So the person who's walking away has learned their lesson. Okay. The person who is, who's had a third party, who's justified it, who, what is their, what are they surrendering? What did they, what do they need to surrender to? Surrender to success, but it came out in reverse. It says, you're ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Okay, what else? And we got surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are, you are careful always, whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death. Repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. This person has a fear of change. They don't like change. They might they might be a fixed sign like a Taurus. Okay. A uh, Leo. Uh, Scorpio Aquarius. Let's see. What guidance do we have? What guidance do we have regarding these messages? Let's see. They want me to not take jumpers. Take them from the bottom. Okay. How many shuffles? Three. One. Two. And three. So take a hold of question in your mind and see if it's yours. Okay. Answer. All right. Improving health. Forgiveness. Meditation brings answers. Communicate clearly. If you believe. Success. So somebody wants forgiveness here if you believe. Opportunity. Within the next few weeks. Remain positive. Abundance, peaceful resolution, so there's something better, listen to your intuition, choose a new direction, and within the next few months. All right, this is what I got for a random reading. Whose reading is this? I have no idea, so please, I'm just going to title it, Whose Reading Is This? So, I was called, I delivered. So please let me know if this reading resonated for you, if this by dropping a sunflower or a flower in the comment section below. And just let me know if this, you know, resonated for you, if it helped you. Um, I sure hope that it did. Um, if I'm still running my holiday special on readings, all the information will be in the description box below. It's three questions for $60, $10 off if you're a first time client or five questions for $100 with $10 off for first time clients. That information and how to um, schedule and all that stuff is in the description box below. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, I love you guys. Please take care of yourself. Until next time. Bye.